Hello again everyone, it's Carly from the Pro Tree of Nice and I have a, another weekly sales update video for you guys. I have um, sales from Etsy, eBay and also Bonanza this week, which is quite exciting. Um, so I'll just go ahead and jump in. So first of all on Etsy, this is a vintage German beer stein that I picked up from a yard sale about three to four weeks ago. Um, I picked it up for $2. I have this amazing like carved detailing here. This is all kind of 3D um beautiful lid there like i said paid two dollars this was the only marking this and some of these things here and it just sold for 49.95 um i just share with you guys a few of the indicators that i had to uh let me know that this was in fact um genuine german and most likely vintage as well and um, there were three things that kind of triggered that for me so one thing was the fact they had this thumb mechanism here on the lid and that it was very ornate that's another thing and um, also the fact that it was marked germany um where maybe a replica of you know like a, a really antique stein or whatever um it's obviously not a sort of cheap made in China knockoff um, and then the last thing is that actually down inside of the stein and um, if you look down inside of uh, like through the under the lid and like down inside you can see at the bottom there was like this kind of raised area that was very imperfect and that's a sign that it was most likely handmade um, so you know between research and those factors there I was pretty confident that this was uh, this was a vintage piece and it was just absolutely stunning so I'm, I'm really glad that I went ahead and got $50 for that um, okay, I picked this up maybe like three to four weeks ago again, um, not that long at all, and I paid, oh, what did I pay, 30 cents. This was in a lot of a bunch of like 90s, 80s, 90s uh, toys that I got, and it evened out for about 30 cents for this whole lot here, and there was nine reels as well, and they had everything from Looney Tunes to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movies, like the really early 90s movies, and then also some dinosaur ones that I believe, uh, I haven't noted here, I think they were from like the 60s yes yeah, 62 um, and they it worked wonderfully it was I had a great time playing with it before <laughs> um, anyway I paid 30 cents for it at a yard sale and I sold it for 24.95 um, the next two items went to the same buyer actually in Australia um, this was just a pack of vintage uh, birthday cards this was a character called peppermint rose I found out after researching they were still sealed so they were like new old stock um, so this one here, this was, I paid 49 cents for these at a thrift store. They sold for $7.95. And the next piece, this was, um, just some gift wrap. Um, I paid about, t it was in a lot, so even after about 10 cents at a church rummage sale, definitely like early 90s uh, Disney here, and that buyer paid $12.95 for this single sheet. It was unused and it was factory folded. Um, the next piece is this shirt that I got only like two weeks ago and I I think I called it hideous but hey it sold really quickly it is an extremely 70s uh, piece of clothing an awesome label and things like that made in Korea it was in fantastic shape um, picked it up for 25 cents at a yard sale and it sold for 14.95 in less than a week and um, this is a plate that I've had in my store for quite a while I actually picked this up at a bag sale at a church uh, church rummage sale um i think i ended up paying about 33 cents for this when everything was evened out it was like collectible is what it said on the back you know it had it had a name and all this kind of thing but anyway um they weren't going for much anywhere but anyway it sold for 7.95 and i just i kind of put down in my description here how cute it would be for putting out halloween treat bags or halloween cookies because that's just what i could imagine uh, it being used for it was a really sweet piece um, next is this vintage bed knobs and broomsticks by Walt Disney, big golden book. The illustrations in this was amazing. I absolutely loved looking through it. Um, it was definitely had some wear you can see here, like in the spine and the binding. Um, but it was still all in one piece. I picked this up for about 25 cents at a rummage sale again, and it sold for $8.95. Um, okay, this uh, is a music box. It's so hard to take photographs of this. You can kind of see in this photograph here, it was all sort of had this metallic look to it. It was really, really beautiful to look at. And inside it was very clean. It had this teddy bear with a bow tie. Um, the mechanism worked nicely. This sounded nice. It had this little mirror. Um, 
it just overall it was in pretty good shape and it was a really nice piece. I actually paid five dollars for this at a thrift store, which looking back, that's a lot to pay for a little music box. But I got twenty four ninety five for it. Um so really that kind of ROI is pretty good. Um, I got this maybe three weeks ago. It's a little ashtray and also has a place to sit your drink, sip and smoke. Um, I sold this for fourteen ninety five, and I picked it up at a yard sale for sixty cents. Um, oh, these last week I got a big old bag of glasses, like vintage eyeglasses from an estate sale, um, which I was super excited about because I love selling vintage eyeglasses. Anyway, when they all evened out for how many were just like stuffed into the Ziploc bag, um, they evened out about 18 cents a piece. So these cost me 18 cents. They were amazing. Uh, they were prescription lenses, but they were these amazing 80s lenses. Um, I don't believe they were any particular brand but was, oh they were just so cool all these like ornate little areas as well and um, anyway and they sold for 34.95 and they actually sold almost instantly <laughs> within the hour for sure um, another piece of vintage wrapping paper they sold for 9.95 and cost me about 10 cents again at a church rummage sale and um, this little uh Charlie Brown Snoopy book. It was from 1964. As you can see on the cover there, there's some wear. It definitely was a little bit beat up, but I picked it up for 50 cents at a yard sale about a month ago and it sold for $9.95. Uh, and the last one on Etsy is this vintage backgammon set. I paid $2 for this last week. Um, same estate sale where I got those vintage eyeglasses from. It was complete. There was a few little areas of wear. Um, sort of some t uh, some on the little uh, pieces here and um, a few little scuffs on the outside which is kind of corduroy and I will say this is a travel set so it actually was pretty small it measured fairly small um, but uh, you see a little bit of wear here like right there but uh, yes I paid two dollars for it and it sold for twenty nine ninety five within about two days on Etsy um, and I should go ahead and reiterate, the prices I'm giving you are what the buyer has paid. That does not include shipping, which the buyer pays on basically everything for what I sell right now. Um, and it's not including like any listing fees or anything. I will get to all that right at the end of the video and let you guys know uh, how I did this week. <clears throat> okay, Bonanza real quick. I uh, had a few sales, four sales actually this week on Bonanza. Ten ninety nine for this little guy. He's like a little sensory taggies plush tie. I sold a different one last week and I paid a dollar for him at a yard sale. Uh, this little Minnie Mouse, it, she was a chime, like a rattle inside, and she's a Disney Parks uh, plush as well. She was ever so cute, really nice, like grey kind of colour to her. But anyway, she sold for nineteen ninety eight, and I actually paid, uh, I think it evened out at $0.63 cents at a yard sale for her. Um, this little handheld uh, sort of card game thing happening, eight ninety nine. I got him for $0.25. Cents. And this Harry Potter Cena, it was uh, the second edition, so it's not that full edition that everyone sort of is always on the lookout for. But it had all the pieces, it was complete, and it sold for $19.99. And I paid $5 for that at a yard sale, which is probably more than I'll pay again. Um, okay, these went on auction. I paid a dollar for this Nerf, uh, like motorized gun thing. It only had one cartridge and only a couple of pieces of ammo with it, but it sold for $20. Paid a dollar a piece for these two. Uh, rival ones here and they have um, the uh, like the chamber things as well and a few pieces of ammo came with them they sold for uh, spoke to them for two dollars at a yard sale they sold for 24 again buyer paying shipping on these and then this lot here I paid ten dollars for all of these um, again probably more than I would pay again but anyway they sold for thirty dollars which you know is fine um, and buy a paid shipping um, paid two dollars for these Nikes. Uh, they were in pretty. You can see a little bit of like scuffs and a little bit of dirt, but overall pretty good condition. And um, paid two dollars a church rummage sale, and I actually took a best offer of twenty six dollars. Uh, this guy I've had in my shop for such a long time. So finally, somebody gave me a best offer that was not, you know ridiculous <laughs> and, and I went ahead and took it I threw him up at $60 because honestly I could never find anything like him he looks just like a um, I think it is it Schmidt that does like all of the Disney music boxes and stuff but his name isn't that name is not on it anywhere so I could not sort of uh, mark it as that but anyway I threw $60 because I didn't know any better basically and I ended up taking a best offer of $30 with buyer paying shipping and I paid $2 for him at a yard sale 
Um, I paid one dollar for this at a yard sale as well. Um, it was copyrighted 1895. It was definitely in rough shape. You can see there, super rough shape, but it was still a beautiful book. So nice for like decoration or for a particular Robinson Crusoe fan. Um, anyway, I took a best offer of $20. Um, this tea towel I picked up for a dollar at an estate sale. It has like loads of uh, herbs and stuff like that, the names on it there. Um, it's pretty nice. I took a best offer for this for $15. Um, oh, I got this from the same place. I got the music box. I got him for 50 cents. He was vintage as well, kind of like a 3D mug. Um, pretty nice, definitely cute for any Winnie the Pooh fan. Um, and he sold for $14.99 with buyer paying shipping. Um, I got this just a couple of weeks ago. I picked it up for 25 cents. It was, you know, a pretty nice, uh, what is it, Island Shores, but it was a 3XL T, so a big and tall one as well. And I took a best offer for $20 on this by a paid shipping. Um, these Ralph Lauren polo shirts, this is a stack of eight men's all size medium. This is an epic fail on my part. This is way like two years ago when I was kind of thinking about selling online. I paid $4 a piece for these at a yard sale. So about $32 sat here and I took a best offer of $35 with buyer paying shipping because they had been sat in my garage for about a year and a half and I'm ready to see them go and I'm glad I made my money back. I have learned my lesson. <laughs> um, I picked these up for um, I think it was a dollar at a state sale. It's like a socket wrench thingy, I don't know, some kind of tool thing. Um, anyway, it's a tie clip and some cufflinks. It's a set, and they sold for a uh, tool. I think they went for either full price or they sold for 20 one of the two, but um, buy a paid shipping for those. Um, this I got for 25 cents. It was new and sealed at a yard sale, just like baby cream, basically. It sold for $10 plus shipping. Um, these were mine. I had from a long time ago, just some khaki American Eagle pants. They were really worn, like um, on the legs. You can kind of see, and oh, you could if I could do it right. There you go. You can kind of see on the feet there. They still sold for eight dollars with buyer paying shipping. And last but not least is this Vera Bradley hipster. It barely being used. It looked that way anyway. I got this for sixty three cents in with a bundle of other stuff, and it's off for sixteen ninety nine with buyer paying shipping. So, overall, this week has been a pretty good week. My gross total for everything sold before I do anything with fees was actually $602.24. And um, when I come in and I take out my listing fees, my fees for having an eBay shop, the price that uh, I paid for each individual item, and then all of my final value fees as well. So that's everything taken away. My net profit for this week was $448.32. And um, 243 of that, I think it was round about, about 240 came from Etsy, about 50 from Bonanza, and roughly 260 came from um, eBay, give or take. No, that's added up wrong. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> about, about uh, about 180 from Etsy, say then, and then the rest from eBay, and just a little bit from Bonanza. Um, but overall, it's done really well, and I'm really happy with how that week has gone, considering we're still in the middle of summer. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, tune back in. I swear I will get my math better in the future. It's really late on a Sunday night. Just bear with me. <laughs> but um, like if you if you feel nice like it and um, subscribe if you do want to see more I do haul videos as well and some stuff to do with listing on Etsy and getting that going for anyone who's just getting started and um, guys thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you have a wonderful week enjoy the summer bye